When osteoarthritis affects the shoulder joint, a prosthesis may be considered. If only the head of the humerus is affected, simple resurfacing may be sufficient. However, if both surfaces are affected, a total prosthesis is necessary. When the tendons and muscles are in good condition, an anatomical prosthesis is chosen, which respects the natural mechanics of the shoulder. The procedure is performed through a short incision of about 7 centimeters at the front of the shoulder. The subscapular tendon is severed, the humeral head is removed, and the medullary canal is prepared using rasps. The glenoid cavity of the shoulder blade is then drilled to remove any remaining cartilage, and a polyethylene implant is fixed in place using surgical cement. On the humerus side, a metal stem, with or without cement, is inserted into the diaphysis, and then a prosthetic head made of alloy is impacted onto it. The joint is reduced and tested dynamically to check for conflict or instability. Once washed, the joint is closed with careful reinsertion of the subscapular tendon using transosseous sutures. The shape and size of the implants are adapted to the patient's anatomy, and depending on the case, a prosthesis with or without a stem may be used. There is no post-operative immobilization, and rehabilitation begins the following day. Functional movements are gradually resumed over the following weeks.